This is the weekly astrology forecast and cosmic weather report at <laughs> Fiona Edgar and Radiant Creators production. <laughs> so, how are the stars looking this coming week? Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit up and down the way everything has been kind of recently. Um, so tomorrow, Saturday the 18th, and on Sunday the 19th, Mercury, the planet of communication, makes some pleasant sextiles to Venus and Mars. These aspects will help to smooth over any arguments or difficulties that we had with others over the past week when we had that Mercury Chiron conjunction. So, writing, talking, making YouTube videos, studying, these are all favorable activities under these sextiles. So, also on Sunday, there's a big energy shift. The sun starts, starts its journey through the fixed Earth sign of Taurus, where it will transit until the 20th of May. So, during Taurus season, the external flow of life slows down. And we have an opportunity to enjoy the physical things, such as food, the outdoors, if that's possible. Taurus, being ruled by Venus, is a sign that's focused on sensuality and pleasure. Our focus switches to creating emotional and financial security for ourselves and our families. And this transit helps us to feel more grounded and connected to the Earth. Sun in Taurus usually brings us more stability and a less hectic pace to our lives. However, as the sun will make a conjunction to Uranus during this transit, we're not able to settle into our comfort zones as our reality is being shaken up. So the next major aspect that we have is on Tuesday the 21st. This is going to be a difficult day because the sun makes a square to Saturn. Saturn squares make everything feel very heavy. We feel like we're being weighed down and there's just this heavy energy around. We may be feeling maybe a bit depressed or lonely. And it is going to be a difficult day, but it is just for like one day. I mean, as soon as it's as soon as this aspect becomes exact and it starts to separate, then we will feel better. So it's a short term thing, so don't worry about it too much. But it's just going to be more difficult that day to find pleasure in anything or to feel joy. So it's best to kind of lose yourself in your work or activity, any activity that requires a lot of focus. Or obviously you could do some yoga, meditate or watch your favorite movie. So just plan to have some distractions on Tuesday. On Thursday, the 23rd, we have a new moon in Taurus. So the new moon symbolize new beginnings and change. This is a challenging new moon as it conjuncts Uranus and makes a square to Saturn. The main issues that I see with this Venus ruled lunation are connected to relationships. And actually the cards that I pulled are very much relationship focused as well, but I'll get into those a little later. Venus is, is currently in the shadow, so she's in her shadow period, about to go retrograde in May. Uh, quarantine and lockdowns are increasing relationship issues because suddenly people are forced to spend all of their time together at home. So obviously that can increase fighting and bickering over silly things. The lockdown is also causing us to think deeply about the future and what we are going to do when all of this is over. Any issues in relationships are being uh, made worse by the lockdowns. One good aspect in the new moon chart is a trine between, between Venus and Mars. So that shows that any um, physical activities between partners will help to calm any issues down. In air signs, it's important to communicate effectively. So bond with your partner through topics that interest them. And that's pretty much it for the week. There aren't very many aspects, but it is a big week because we have that new moon. So the energies of the new moon will last uh, for the next couple of weeks. And it is going to be challenging, uh, especially in the area of relationships. So just be careful about that. But just know that things should get better as we return to normal. 
Yeah, I can only imagine what many people are going through who are, you know, families that are all locked down together. That definitely would be a time for interesting relationship issues. Because I do think you look at how many people, uh, like how many unhappy relationships there are out there, <laughs> especially ones with kids. And I can only imagine it's just like a it's like a cage full of rats just being shaken. So <laughs> there's that psychic weather, I think, is definitely out there. Um, because like how much can some people take I mean myself I'm very lucky my life is wonderful happy and all that but I do know that I, I can only imagine what's going on behind some closed doors <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah very uh, much so yeah well so it sounds like a fun week I mean whenever Saturn's in play you know being aspected to me that that's always a bit of a heavy time e you know even if it's a slight uh aspect and it's not too prevalent that makes me happy that's good but yeah Saturn to me always kind of plays rough mm -hmm. yeah well S Saturn is about less lessons and karma and responsibilities and none of those things are fun really it's always kind of a, t a tough time but if you can get through a bad Saturn transit and learn the lesson then your life will be massively Im improved afterwards yeah, it's always worth it. And Saturn does reward too for those, you know, long struggles or short struggles. You know, if we if we kind of pass that test, then you know, Saturn rewards too. You know, kind of like a kind of like a Mercury retrograde. You know, Mercury retrograde. It's oftentimes a nuisance, but it also yeah, quite often you get payoffs during Mercury retrograde. I find. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like there's all this fear attached to Mercury retrogrades now, and really that just comes from people that don't really understand it or just know a little bit of information about it. I mean, it happens three times a year. So no matter what, we will go through that three times a year for the rest of our lives. So it, it really isn't anything to fear. It's just bringing your attention to something that maybe needs a little bit more work. And if you do that, then your life will be improved afterwards. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. So... One thing we were going to talk about today was uh, the, uh, I guess you'd say, psychic protection. And that's a great topic for this week coming up. Because I think this week especially, uh, probably the next couple weeks, let's see, we have, what is today? Today is the 17th. So if I look at a calendar, we've got, um, let's see, what's the rest of the month look like? Okay, right, so we have basically two weeks left in this month. And, you know, America's talking about, uh, you know, Trump was tweeting and he also, well, he's always tweeting, but he did, he did his little, uh, you know, conf uh, press conference that they have every day. And they were talking about, let's get open again on, you know, May 1st. And of course, there's, you know, guidelines and this and that. But still, it seems like we're in the midst of, you know, I don't mean to sound too crazy for some people who might be listening, but this is sort of like, you know, Trump is kind of like the, uh, you know, humanity's answer to the deep state, you might say. Many people think that. And so definitely this whole lockdown that's been going on, uh, this is the first time I've ever, I've ever seen humanity sort of go through what many individuals are going through, have been going through for like their whole lives, who are interested in, you know, sovereignty, you know, being your own person, uh, you know, natural law, having rights, all these things. Your more libertarian, you know, human sovereignty minded people have realized that there's this overbearing authoritarian government that wants to, you know, basically follow the, the example of China and how people are treated and then even worse. So this is the first time that I would say, I think globally, we are everybody gets to share in this reality and I, I don't I don't feel vindictive but maybe I do a little bit I kind of feel like like opening my window and like yelling out the window how does it feel people <laughs> 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 this didn't just happen <laughs> 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 you know mm. so how how would you say this coming as things I think the rest of this week the rest of this month is going to be a bit crazy because now you know that you have Trump, and uh, also, really, I would say the American, the American citizen, citizenry, and probably a lot of the world's citizenry, is uh, they're done with it. They're like, look, you know, they've been they've been home more. They've been looking at 
uh, doing research. It's like the corona thing. It's just not playing out. It's kind of like Al Gore said we'd all be underwater now because of global warming. You know, the alarmists like Gates and Fauci and all these people and the and the who, you know, saying that we need to be drug out of our homes and all this crap and like millions will be dead and it's not panning out. And then more and more it's been, uh, we couldn't even list all the, uh, all the stuff going on. It's kind of blowing the lid off this. It, 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 it seems like humanity is at least here in the, in the, in the country to, to this country I'm seeing to a surprising extent is realizing that this was a farce. This is not real. It's not as bad as it appears. That is known. The numbers are being finagled and at least that's people's take on it. And there we are, we're already seeing uh, protests this, this last week in different states in this country where people are out in front of the Capitol just going like, forget it, open it up. This, this is, we're, we're done, you know? So these next two weeks are gonna be interesting. We got it, we gotta have good psychic protection because um, this spiritual battle, as we put it, this is gonna be, this next two weeks, it is so game on because the forces of darkness do not want people to be freed <laughs> from, from their lockdown. <laughs> But yeah, but but humanity does want to be let out of their houses. So how do you see the next two weeks? How, how can we um, it's a great topic. How can we protect ourselves from wow, the 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 cosmic psychic battle being fought? Everyone's going to feel it. Yeah, well, I mean, astrologically, this this heavy, uh, oppressive influence that we're feeling, you know, is um, symbolized by Saturn. So the one of the most important days is when the sun makes that difficult square to Saturn on the 21st. Um, and then that energy kind of stays there until the 23rd when we have that difficult new moon. So it's imperative around those couple of days that we really have the psychic protection up because even if we don't really experience anything in our immediate personal lives, there's going to be stuff going on in the world that we don't even know about. And that, that creates an energetic backlash and that affects everyone. So, <clears throat> excuse me, even during terrorist attacks and stuff like that that have happened before, there's this dark energy that comes from that and it affects everyone. It can make you sick. It can make you feel depressed. You know, some people even feel suicidal. So you need to shield yourself. The number one way that you can shield yourself from any form of energetic attacks is by strengthening your own energy. You can wear as many talismans as you want. You can draw symbols in your forehead. But unless your own energy is strong, these are going to be useless. So you have to make sure that, first of all, you need to have a healthy body. Because an unhealthy body is a weak aura that is much more susceptible to psychic attacks. So you need to, need to have a healthy diet, get some exercise, try not to drink, try not to smoke, etc. You know what to do. Um, the second thing that you need to do is if you have any, if you have any trauma, unresolved traumas from your childhood, maybe you were bullied by your family or when you were at school, if you still feel like a victim, you are a prime target for any negative energy that that comes towards you. Until you feel strong in yourself and you feel sure of yourself and strong and that no one can harm you, you're always going to be a target. So you have to you have to work on developing that inner strength within yourself. And those things are the number one defense against any form of psychic attack, whether it comes from a per another person, a spirit, or some other thing like the government or whatever. So work on yourself. Do your inner work. Um, get rid of any fear, negative emotions. As any kind of psychic attack is like water, it will take the fastest route. And these negative emotions that you have will just be used against you. Also, be an honorable person because it acts as a shield against negativity. The pagan people, a lot of pagan civilizations, they were all about honor um, because they knew that it protected them. It acts as um, it acts as a shield. 
So as well as that, you can obviously use, you know, you can use amulets and things like that. I mean, I have my Thor's hammer on, which I wear in an act of defiance, but also it protects me. Um, you can make a connection with your ancestral gods as they will act as a shield and protect you as well. Turn off your TV because they can psychically attack you through that and your little devices that you have to carry everywhere with you. Um, also clean up your mundane world because whatever it is that you allow in your personal life will be reflected back in you by the spirit world. So for example, poor boundaries will lead to attracting intrusive spirits or intrusive energy that you just don't want. So it's a great time for that feng shui of the house, you know, get, get, yeah. get your, get your house in order because definitely, uh, spending a little bit more time at home than I usually do recently, I've definitely noticed that, uh, and it's not, nothing new, I mean, I've always known this, but you really feel that, or I really come to the realization that, you know, that, that messy closet is fear, you know, where, where, wherever our house is not, uh, in order, I always look at it like there, there's fear lurking there. Um, I've realized how and why you look at like a Zen temple and there's not much there because they'd have to dust it and clean it <laughs> and arrange it. And they will have their little, uh, they, they rake the sand in their little sand gardens and they trim their bonsais. And so it's funny where you go to a Zen temple and you realize, wow, there's just peace here. And a huge part of it is there's no mess and everything is orderly. So I think definitely for psychic weather, this is a great time to do some feng shui in your house, whether you do it technically feng shui or whether you just clean that closet. Think about how much that messy closet is driving you nuts <laughs> and, how, and how those extension cords are driving you crazy because uh, definitely that will create more power in the home, you know, plants in the home if you're allowed to go outside. Uh, you know, the more plants you got in your home, the better, especially if they're all happy. Get rid of ones that are not. And uh, I think breathing is a huge one right now, too. You know, I do my, uh, we try to do our Wim Hof breathing here every day, and I'll put a link to that. But definitely when you're breathing deeply, if you're doing some breathing exercises, you know, breathe into that heart center and and, and, and breathe out all the, the bit of trauma and fear you might have there because there's so much psychic weather right now. There's so much going on. Breathing deeply and breathing into that heart and breathing out the uh, tension that's in there is, you know, something I'm finding I have to do at least once a day. If not a couple times a day, you want to breathe because you realize, man, I'm really getting uptight in the heart. One of the ways that we, you know, truly feel a lot of our feeling, a lot of our perception comes from the heart center, not just our, our usual five senses. And in this time of intense psychic weather, clear that heart center out, you know. Uh, and of course, like Fina was saying, eating better. You know, a lot of people say, I already eat healthy. You can do better. We all can do better. Try to do a little better. You know, just it's a good time too. Exercising, of course. And like you're mentioning with the media, here's a big one that I'm seeing right now as far as psychic weather. Something people could, you know, look out for is this is a, a, a uh, of course, a global event and it's definitely a spiritual event. And there's people who like this. You know, I definitely would say that uh, anybody who's following along with Thomas Sheridan on his daily uh, uh, videos almost. You know, the SJW culture, as we call it, you know, the, the, they now have their COVID-19 God, you know, like all the climate and the borders and everything. That's all kind of up. No one's listening right now. No one cares about feelings as much. They're not interested in all this silly stuff. And so now they have their great COVID God. And if you think about it, it's like perfect. We're all stuck in our homes. We're all slaves. We can all tattle on each other. We're dependent on the government to save us and, and, and give us a little money to keep living. And everything is becoming centralized. All small businesses are going away. People's jobs are going away. All we have is like dependence on the state soon. And um, like rather than have, yeah, small stores and such, all we're going to have is like Amazon and Walmart. You know what I mean? It's like a garden store can't be open, but, but Walmart can. Walmarts can. It's crazy what's going on. And even what you can buy in these big stores is metered now. You can't go in this section. Sorry, that's not essential. So it's insane. And uh, 
there's some people who we have to remember, this is like their dream come true. You've got those who are orchestrating it. And of course, they, they're not going to give up easily. This is their big con and they got to pull it off or they'll be out of luck for a decade before they can try it again, maybe. And then there's those who are, um, their hearts match it. You know, they just can't wait to be the uh, neighborhood watch captain and tattle on people and drag them out of their homes. I know I sound terrible, but there's people who dig this. And so really one protecting their energy i think it's very important to uh, avoid getting in the fight and uh, don't get in the fight in social media don't get in the fight um, uh, with with your neighbors and such like that at least for me and I'd, I'd ask just like how you feel about this strategy it's a great time to breathe keep that heart center working focus on your uh, your immune system is connected to god as they say you know um, just get your own power as powerful as you can because we are going through a time of of, uh, of evolution and there's massive cosmic energy hitting the earth and it's and really I'm kind of going through a bit of a narcissistic period where I'm just stepping back and going you know what I can manifest now I can clear out bad energy from my body I can I want to be on the other end of this which it will end I want to come out in better shape healthier a more abundant creator with more wealth I'm just kind of like I'm not going to get in this fight I'm just going to supercharge my energy and definitely have my psychic armor up because it's a shitstorm out there and I, I got to avoid getting in that fight because that fight oh my god all I have to do is just look at anything online and that fight wants to drag me in <laughs> and I'm ready for it <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, all of these like pointless fights with people on the internet, like I'm so sick of, I mean, I, I try not to engage in those because it's, you know, it's a waste of energy, but I'm, I'm tired of seeing them as well. Like, you know, there's a lovely picture of a fluffy cat and people are arguing about politics in the comments. It's just, it's never ending, but it's such a distraction. And you know, one thing I've discovered is that there, if you're the type of person and you're doing spiritual work or you're doing, you know, making podcasts like we do and you're speaking out about controversial things, um, other people are used as an attack against you. So whatever this darkness is in the world, it can use, it's like in the matrix when Agent Smith just pops into someone's body, you know, it's just, it is exactly like that. So you have to be very discerning about who you allow into your circle because they can just be used as, as an attack against you, your neighbors, your family, you know, depending on what kind of person they are to begin with, they can be, they can be compromised. That's very true. It's something I've, you know, seeing now more than ever is where, you know, in the matrix, Agent Smith was anybody. Agent Smith could come through anybody that really was in the matrix, I guess you'd say. I mean, only those who had really been unplugged and lived on the Nebuchadnezzar or down in Zion, you know, uh, if, one, if one knows the whole matrix story. Um, and, and that's a hard road. So that's the thing. Uh, people who are not buying into this, uh, people who are, I, 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 I say it humbly because it sounds very egotistical, but awake, aware, um, you know, people have earned that. And it didn't just happen last week. Most people who are um, seeing this whole uh, shenanigans for what it is at this point, uh, you earned it. You spent a lot of time on it and, it, and, and it, on yourself. And so, uh, you, you know, right now the... Uh, the noise out there has quieted down. It's quieter, you know, and yeah, definitely. This is such a time to just do your own work. Use this time to come out of it uh, better. You know, I, 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 the way I see social media has changed the way I, um, I don't know. There's just so much going on. I, it just keeps getting quieter and quieter and quieter. And I, I Things will never be the same, but I, I think that they will definitely be uh, be better for those who uh, can just focus on that center, focus on, you know, uh, psychic uh, protection is a big one right now. And, and for me, yeah, definitely everybody breathe and focus on that center. You know, what do you want to manifest in life? Focus on that. However you do that kind of meditation, 
because really, I think this is a secret and sacred time that we're going to miss when it's over, sort of, that all of us who are able to connect to our source, our center, fire up that psychic armor, and we're going to come out of this like, you know, I, I want to be first out the gate in the race. You know what I mean? It's like, because I have a feeling that uh, the first, May 1st, I just have this, you know, as we speak of cosmic weather, I have a feeling that the uh, worst is over May 1st. Even though it's going to be fallout for quite a while, I think if you can get on to your positive manifestation, if you can get into your own energy and you can start creating and put up your psychic armor and you can use this powerful time, I think May 1st, for people who are awake, I think this is over. Uh, egotistical, I know it may sound, but I really think those radiant craters out there, um, if you supercharge yourself right now, eat great, get in better shape, breathe deep, get rid of the fear, focus on what you want to manifest and do it, um, out of the gate May 1st, you're going to be so far, you're going to be so far ahead of that game that, you know, just don't even look back. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, yeah. May 1st, I mean, that's when, let's see, Pluto goes retrograde on the 25th of April, and then Saturn goes retrograde on the 11th of May. So, yeah, that window, we should really, I mean, we should really see all of the restrictions being removed around that time, I would say, because this whole thing started with Saturn and Pluto. You know, it was that conjunction that we had. So when this start, when they go retrograde, then the power is kind of the power from the government and the control system is waning. So yeah, I could totally see that. I think you're spot on, but yeah, this has been personally, I've been planning. Um, I've been doing a lot of planning during this time. I've been figuring out what I want to do, what other things that I want to do with my life other than being an astrologer. Um, I have a lot of plans, so it's a magically spiritual time. And yes, it's, there's so much power and energy around at the minute to manifest whatever we want. So thinking doomsday is here and oh no, the economy and, you know, everything's going to be terrible. It's going to be the Great Depression. Well, you know, you're not going to you're not going to manifest anything good by with that mindset. So, yeah, write it down, write down your dreams and manifest the hell out of it. Yeah, this is the time because you've got cosmic support right now. You really do. And uh, I'd also just reference how do we know these things are true? People talk about the economy, what's going to happen, and oh, it's the worst thing since the Great Depression. And oh, and, and there was the, the, the Spanish flu of 1918 and all these things. Well, that was then. That's not now. How do I know anything I'm hearing is true? Who knows? We don't know. You know, all that is really just black magic that people that the I'll call them the globalists, those with the dark hearts, the empire. That's what they want you to manifest for them. You know, and that's one thing I've realized now more than ever is and, you know, I don't trust anybody who's selling something and I don't trust anybody who also is trying to sell a bias, a hard coded bias, because even though I guess in my humble opinion, I think the scam has been exposed for what it is. And there are plenty of people out there who are like, oh, no, oh, no, don't buy it. Don't go outside. Oh, we're all going to start getting sick. And now since you've got uh, maybe us here in America opening up, you know, May 1st or even before, you've got the, the, the mainstream media, of course. You've got a lot of governors of some states here in this country that are going, oh, no, it's getting wor all of a sudden now it's getting worse, supposedly. You know, and we've already like in, in New York, they got busted for retroactively saying that people who died just were, were, OK. Now, how many people we 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 need more Corona deaths. OK, so let's just take a couple, you know, hundred or thousand people, whatever it was. And we'll just we'll just say that those people who died died of coronavirus. You know, so they're making these numbers up there, pulling them out of their ass to manipulate. And uh, so really, it's. Eh, more and more, it's like, ignore the world. Gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard about that happening over and over again. Um, you know, someone's relative died and they'd, they'd been dying of uh, cancer for like months upon end. And then they, they put down on the death certificate that they died of COVID-19. Like, it's just totally ridiculous. But so many people are skeptical of this. I know we still have the, the people that are in fear and 
wanting the lockdown to continue until like next year. But so many people that you just would not expect are just saying that this is so fishy. And then, um, you know, all of these people in the media, like uh, Bill Gates, just suddenly appearing everywhere. Like he's this world expert on health. And I heard that they, they had to take down his his uh, Microsoft advertisement because there were so many comments underneath it that um, people just cannot stand him now and they know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, on Twitter and Instagram, whenever he posts anything, whenever he's like, oh, no, everybody stay scared. Oh, my gosh, it's, this is horrible. Everyone keep listening to me. Blah. Whenever, whenever he posts something... Um, they're having a hard time with it because there's just hundreds, there's thousands of comments like, we're on to you. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's over. You know what I mean? Take your vaccine and shove it up your ass. There's just nonstop. And so uh, people have been watching that. And, you know, of course, he'll have his little, little crew sitting there trying to delete comments. But what I think is so beautiful is they can't keep up. They literally can't keep up. Maybe that's why they, they may, I'm not sure what they're going to do with his social media, but, you know, if he allows comments, unless he, like, just turns comments off, literally his little crew, who knows how big it is, it could be a whole floor of a building somewhere that are trying to delete, you know, bad comments, they can't keep up. And that, to me, is a really, really uh, beautiful thing uh, because it's, it's, it, it's hard. I mean, all we tend to hear quite often is just the... Uh, screech of the empire the hiss of the snake as dirt wild used to call it all the people who are you know locked down like social distancing needs to we'll have to keep doing it the rest of our lives now so 2020 at least you know and and uh you got a lot of humanity going wait a second like humanity for thousands or millions of years depending on what you believe humans have had an immune system and you're trying to tell me that like last november or january it went away like we no longer have an immune system we just we, we just die if we get something unless bill gates saves us like <laughs> it's just like people are sort of you know even people you wouldn't expect you know like i said we live in an area with a lot of old people a lot of retirement people here and they're all talking over the fence going that that real guy can take his vaccination, stick it up my ass, and I ain't getting no tattoo with my <laughs> number on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, I love it. I love it. People, yeah, I mean, the, the vaccination mm -hmm. thing and, you know, our, our immune systems, like over here, I don't know what they do in the States, but over in, in the UK, they start to give little kids um, flu vaccination every year like every winter these poor kids get get this vaccination and you know if you don't want your kid to have it then you have to write in especially sp and request that they don't get it but what happened to building the immune system you know why why does no one talk about that anymore because you know of the vaccinations it's just it's terrible like it's, it breaks my heart to see that but i think more people are coming becoming more aware of the dangers of these vaccinations they are and and I, I like seeing humanity get a little badass because we need to get tougher humanity does and then also so does our immune system and you know when you look at how unhealthy many people are I'm surprised they have an immune system at all to fight anything and then you know when you look how uh, easily many people allow themselves to be manipulated you know when they have a a connection to the divine they are we are we are all literally uh, uh biological we are organic uh, lie detectors we know the truth we can feel it and so you know people need to turn on that uh their their natural human instincts their natural human lie detector which really is infallible get their immune system to be badass be be tougher this is um it's a scary time. It's a scary time for me because I do look at it like, who knows who's going to win on this one? I, I, I still don't know. But, you know, I guess what's really important is just to, uh, it's like Rudolf Steiner said uh, in one of his lectures, gosh, back in like 19, like, like I think 1901 or something. He said that, you know, the purpose of evil is freedom, is, is to offer the uh, self-aware person freedom because, uh, you 
have your connection to the divine, you know the truth, and then when you see evil, that, that offers you that choice of, of being the divine, of being truth, uh, you know, of, of living a beautiful life. So if nothing else, um, just make sure that you win in all of this, that, that you saw evil for what it was worth. Evil is right now after the whole damn world. <laughs> and everyone is getting that choice. You can see it and you can have your and, and you can choose your divine your, your divine nature. And, and I mean that, that's really it because I guess uh, according to Steiner, without evil we wouldn't have choice, we wouldn't have freedom. So ultimately if you're seeing this for what it is and your intuition is saying, this is bullshit, I don't buy it at all. Um, then you're free. You're free. There's nothing they can do to you. And just focus on that freedom. Breathe. Eat well. Exercise. Live. Enjoy life. And, you know, honestly, when it comes to this battle, we've already won individually if you choose to. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I totally agree with you. Um, so I have put some tarot cards for the week ahead. Uh, I did. Put, I pulled them earlier, and they seem to be very much relationship focused on an internal kind of level, a more personal level. So the first card that I pulled is the lovers. Mm. Nice card. Um, I actually have the Game of Thrones deck that I'm using today. My my husband bought me that for for Christmas. So it has a nice picture of Jon Snow and his girlfriend. Gosh, I forget her name, but the lovely lady with the red hair. So they're standing there um, embracing on top of the, the ice mountain or the ice wall that they just climbed. Um, then I have the Page of Cups and the Magician. Mm. So, yeah, I've got a lot of different messages coming to me up through these cards and they will apply to different people because I know that a lot of different people watch our show. So they're not going to resonate with everyone. Um, so the first the first messages that I get from the lovers card is a, a couple that have been through a lot recently. And I know most of us have been through a lot the past few years because the astrology has been very tough. But this is some a couple that have climbed through many different obstacles. They've had a lot of people against them, actually. A lot of people um, trying to break them up. Maybe they come from different backgrounds and their relationship hasn't been accepted. So I see that maybe things have been a bit difficult between them recently for one reason or another, but I see that starting to, I see that's starting to come a bit easier for them. And for some reason, the month of June, the month of May, end of May until the end of June is very relevant for this. So if you're someone that has been through a lot of relationship issues recently, or just things haven't been going well for you, then I would expect things to start picking up again for you end of May, June. Um, Another possibility is that one of you or some of you may meet someone. If you're single, you may meet someone new over this period of time. Or you may have met someone, you're just currently friends, and a new relationship is going to form. Um, and yeah, it looks like a really good union to me. So then we have the Page of Cups here. This could be a child. So the Page of Cups is quite often a pregnancy or a young child. And this um, this could be somebody actually getting pregnant when they've, you know, they've been trying for ages. And that's one possibility. I don't really like to make those predictions, but that's just what I'm seeing here. Um, or there's some issue with this child and it's causing the, this friction within the relationship. But again, I kind of see that um, being smoothed over over the summertime. So lastly, we have the, the Magician card. And the Magician is really about a lot of the things that we just talked about. So first of all, it's about being able to manifest your dream life and having all of the tools there, everything that you need, all of the energy that you need and all of the ambition that you feel to make a real positive change within your job or within your life 
and being the magician of your own life and not surrendering your power or your strength to anyone else. It's very important. The second thing about this is the psychic protection that we that we just discussed. And I do feel that some of you need to include your partner in this um, psychic protection. So maybe you're a spiritual person, but your significant other isn't really into like spiritual stuff. Well, maybe you should extend your protection to them, which you can do quite easily if you just use vi visualizations. Um, the other message that's coming up here is that this magician is someone that's trying to interfere in your relationship and just to be on just to be aware of that. So on the card here, it's actually Littlefinger from the Game of Thrones. So we know that Littlefinger was someone that had a very I always saw him as a Gemini, but in a very negative way. Don't get me wrong, I love Geminis. They're very entertaining, very smart, and I have a lot of them as my friends. But this would be the negative side of Gemini, going back and forth and saying one thing to one person. And some of you just need to be aware of this person and to guard what it is, to guard anything that you hold dear against this person. The other message that I'm getting about this is that... Oh, I wasn't getting these messages earlier, but I'm getting them now. So on a global sense, this magician could be someone like Trump. Okay. And I mean that in a good way. Um, someone who is just upsetting the upsetting the empire, um, upsetting the this kind of dark regime that's been in place for way too many years. And he may be joining forces with someone. I don't know if it's like Boris Johnson or Putin or someone, someone that maybe we don't even know about to kind of co combat this, using good magic to kind of combat this darkness, whatever it is. So the other thing that we need to be aware of is that Venus is in the shadow and we will be experiencing more relationship issues. Uh, Venus is a big theme here. So don't make any hasty decisions. Don't say, okay, my partner is really, really, really annoying me with all these horrible habits that I just didn't notice before. Just ride it through and things are going to be okay. So May, June, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that sounds perfect. Because, yeah, I've noticed a lot of, uh, I would just call it Mercury retrograde energy. I know Mercury retrograde is not, it's not happening right now. But I've just felt a real sort of, uh, it feels like it's Mercury retrograde to me. And whenever I get that feeling, which can just be, you know, a person's personal stars, it could just be a lot of things. Uh, it doesn't have to come from Mercury retrograde, but it kind of feels like it in one's life. It really is a great time to uh, just chill. Don't make any decisions. Realize that any, any decisions you make are hasty. And just wait till you feel better. You know, it's so important. Yeah, and actually you're very intuitive because, I mean, that Mercury retrograde type of energy that you're still picking up on, I feel that too. And the reason why is because Venus is in the shadow in Gemini. So it's a, Mer it's a, a sign that's ruled by Mercury. So we're going to feel like we're under the longest Mercury retrograde ever. And yes, a, a lot of this... Venus retrograde will be about relationships but the usual actually Mercury retrograde rules will apply you know miscommunications are more likely taking the wrong end of the stick and you know just we just need to be more careful with our words and yeah things just feel bonkers but just enjoy the ride go along with it and Gemini being affected if, if Gemini is involved I mean that, that's communication ultimately and uh, I look at the at least for us over here, the internet's been weird. You know, communication's been a little difficult. Like we were a little bit delayed getting started because Skype just wasn't working. And I'm like, what's going on? Why does it pick this moment not to work? It always works, <laughs> you know? So yeah, there's a lot going on. Well, we've been at it for 44 minutes. And I mean, I think we got, you know, I can I can ramble forever, so I have to meter myself. So, but I think I think we've kind of covered a good deal of ground for people. I mean, this is definitely content rich and something that I think people can use this coming week or two for sure. Is there anything else you're 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 uh, thinking of, Fiona, today? 
Um, I can't really think of anything else other than everything that we've covered. Just keep your shields up, keep your psychic shields up. Um, be you know, just be make good choices, eat well, get some sunlight. If you're lucky enough to have a garden, um, spend a lot of time in your garden, ground yourself in nature, eat good food, enjoy sensual pleasures with your partner. These are all things that the quarantine has no control over. It's absolutely true. And uh, and I will, uh, I'll link in the show notes, uh, the Wim Hof breathing, you can do it on YouTube along with Wim and it's it really helps to get that tension out. And then also for manifesting, I'm gonna link to a, uh, uh, a Joe Dispenza meditation people can you gotta buy it but it's very cheap and it really helps get that uh, heart-centered gratitude going and connecting to the divine and uh, I think they're very timely for this moment well thanks to Ona Edgar for for hanging out today and I guess we'll wrap it up and I will get this posted right away and I will send you the usual links okay thanks Craig oh Good thank to talk you, to you. Hi, Fiona. oh Aaron says hi. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> <There she is. laughs> Fiona says hi. <laughs> All right. Let's see.